Welcome. In this session on natural deduction, we'll begin to explore what we mean by a well-formed formula. A formula in propositional logic is either an atom or a complex formula. An atom, for our purpose, is a symbol such as P, Q, R, S, and so on for as many that, as we need. And we might subscript them. For example, we might say P1, P2, P3, and so on. A well-formed formula is often abbreviated as WFF. And we'll pronounce this out, but we'll say a well-formed formula is, and the definition is, it is, an atom. So any of these basic symbols is a well-formed formula. It is if a if phi, the Greek letter, if phi is a well-formed formula, then we'll say that Parenthesis, this is a negation. Negation phi is a well-formed formula. We will say that if phi is a well-formed formula, and the Greek letter psi is another symbol that we'll use often, and psi is a well-formed formula, then we will say that phi disjunction C is a well-formed formula. We'll sometimes read this out as though it's phi or C. Strictly speaking, we will say the disjunction of phi and C and let's observe that for a well-formed formula, we have to include parentheses. If phi is a well-formed formula, and C is a well-formed formula, then we will say that the conjunction of phi and C is a well-formed formula. And the last part of the definition is if phi is a well-formed formula and C is a well-formed formula, then we will say phi materially implies psi is a well-formed formula. When we have these rules, if a, con if a construction does not satisfy any of these, then it is not a well-formed formula. We do, however, have certain conventions. So we, these aren't, this is strictly speaking what a well-formed formula is. So um, by convention, convention, a formula is um, is um, we'll say is written. according to, and here we'll use an idea from computer science, which is according to the binding rules. Binding, uh, we'll say, rule, yes. Which is, um, we'll write these as binding tighter and binding looser. 
And the tightest binding is the negation operator. And the next ones, which are equivalent in order, are disjunction and conjunction. And the loosest of all is implication. And our convention will be that if a formula, um, if the if the interpretation of a formula is not changed, we can eliminate some of some things. So example, one example is we usually write, so let's suppose that we have the negation of P and we'll usually write this simply as negation P. That is, one of our conventions is that where the um, understanding is not changed, we'll drop the parentheses. So we might write also, suppose we have negation of P disjunction with Q, and we'll often write this as not P or Q. Sorry, there. So here, the first thing that we do is, because our understanding won't be changed, we'll drop the outside parentheses. And because the understanding is that negation binds tighter than disjunction, we will simply write disjunction of P, uh, sorry, negation of P disjunction Q, or not P or Q in place of these. So when some, when we need to refer to a formula as being a well-formed formula, that means that all of the parentheses have to be in the correct places. And when we simply say that something is a formula, we mean that we're adopting a convention uh, simply for our own um, understanding and to make things somewhat less messy when we write them.